the internet is a fast and efficient way to do business for consumers it's a convenient way to uh, get products but to keep customers pushing real life shopping carts businesses must provide exceptional customer service joining me now with some tips on that subject is phil nolman he's author of just say yes extreme customer service what do you mean by extreme customer service well the premise of the book is to take the issue of customer service beyond the norm so instead of satisfying the needs of the customer we're looking to excite delight and exceed expectations and how do you do that well you do it by uh, addressing the needs of the customer in terms of their their basic wants what they really want from a business which is a relationship uh, it's to be part of the business's community. It's to be nurtured. And what do you, you like, uh, get information about the customers? You send out flyers? I mean, how do you do this? Well, you, you manage a database by capturing information about the customers so that you can serve them better. But it includes guarantees. It includes the kind of value-added components that would have a shopkeeper sitting the customer down, giving them a refreshment, a cup of coffee, and then transacting business. It's treating them... Uh, in a human way. But that's assuming that they're in your store. Correct. How do you get them in the store? Well, traditional marketing drives people to the store. Advertising and part of an extreme customer service program is to detail the kinds of things that your business does for the customer that are extreme in service areas. And you think that uh, the consumer will respond positively th to this rather than just going on the internet and finding the cheapest price? The only real way for a retail organization particularly to buffer themselves against the onslaught of the internet is to go back to the basics to go back to the fact that you want to bring humanity into the business and that means personal communication uh... it means a personal relationship with the customer that will be difficult to exist in terms of technology but it's interesting one of the things that i've even done is to um, use the local retailer as the place right. to find you know kind of touch the products and figure right. out what you want exactly then you go to the internet and you buy and it you buy i them. mean how do you as the local storekeeper uh, capture my, me while i'm in the store well there are several things one is the issue of price and retailers are learning that when customers kick the tires in their stores they have to be prepared to meet the price or beat the price of the internet the other thing is that the internet cannot guarantee the customer the kinds of things that a retail shopkeeper can in terms of personal service follow-up service and value-added components to the relationship and so you have to make sure that the customer knows that that's what you uh, things that out. you're getting absolutely in yeah it has to be very demonstrative um, and you found, I mean, can you give us some examples of, uh, of companies that have done well doing this? Well, the retail jewelry world, which is uh, a field that is suffering by virtue of the Internet, particularly in commodity goods like diamonds, mm -hmm. has found that by providing the customer with credible incentives and guarantees that they can't possibly get, certifications that aren't available through technology, that it is a great way to bring them back into the throes of the retail environment and also to give them an experience within the retail environment that they're not going to get in front of a keyboard well in fact we have very good results from tiffany yes. today i mean is that a good example great example um, people go to tiffany because there's an environmental experience in the retail area and that is something that draws them back into this beautiful sophisticated uh, environment and you end up with that blue box that you don't get from right. an internet company no. and, and it is the blue box they're buying phil norman the author of just say yes extreme customer service and coming up tomorrow on entrepreneurs only a former new york advertising exec